Hey, this is RJ from Transelectronic Labs. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below. Believe it or not, those things mean so much to getting these videos out there, and I just appreciate it. It means a lot to me, too. Thank you. Here's the content. So, for the past two to three months, there have been a litany of allegations come out about P. Diddy in these crazy parties that he had. Allegations that Justin Bieber was involved, Usher was involved. All sorts of allegations of crazy, sexy things going on with Diddy and boys for 20 plus years. And it's one of those things that like, how did they keep it secret for so long? But they didn't. In so many interviews that are popping up now with other rappers and other entertainers, you can tell that they knew what was going on with him. They would even say things. There's this one video where this one rapper, uh, I think his name is Lil, Lil Wayne, and P. Diddy says, Lil Wayne, what do you have to say to the kids coming up today? And he's like, don't go to these P. Diddy parties. He's crazy. He try to get you to suck his dick. It's crazy. Don't do it. He said that, like, on air. It was hard to understand what he was saying without the subtitles. But that's what he said. And P. Diddy's like, nah, man, you don't know what you're talking about. But straight up. So what does this mean? Well, you know... It means that he probably had Biggie killed, right? And I'm going to bet that you didn't know that his dad was actually an FBI informant. P. Diddy's dad was an FBI informant. And I'm going to also bet you that P. Diddy is the reason why Dave Chappelle left comedy all those years ago. Recently, on the Roseanne Barr podcast... Jim Brewer, who used to be friends with Dave, tells a story about what Jim believes happened. And it was while Dave was doing the Chappelle show. And Jim is at this comedy festival in Aspen. And Dave shows up there and he's all spooked and he's crazy and he's afraid. He goes, Jim, Jim. I was visited, Jim, I was visited. And Jim's like, by who? And Dave tells Jim the name of the people that visited him. And Jim's like, oh my God. He doesn't say who, but it was probably the FBI. It was probably the FBI. And it was probably because Dave was getting too close to the truth with his true Hollywood stories. Now, if you remember the Chappelle show, You'll remember that it was pulling no punches about exposing the truth about what was happening behind the scenes. Whether they were talking about what was going on with Rick James and his couch, it was verbatim, these stories that they would just act out. So there's this one skit where Dave is pretending to be, in retrospect, we see it trying to be, pretending to be P. Diddy, Sean Puffy Combs. And he wants all this, this Thai boy titty milk. And basically, Dave's drinking this milk and it looks like he's got semen coming out of his mouth and he's dancing around. I believe with all my heart that what happened was something like this. Dave was hanging out with all his friends and they were getting all these stories about what was going on behind the scenes. And there was an FBI handler there that knew what Dave was finding out. One night, they probably were hanging out and Dave heard a bunch of stuff that he wasn't supposed to hear. Now Dave knows all this stuff that's going on behind the scenes in Hollywood and he starts making fun of it on The Chappelle Show. What if Dave stumbled into some Satanism? What if David stumbled into some really insane shit that only the elites know about? 
basically what Dave told Jim is that he was warned and that he was threatened and if he didn't stop pursuing his current path of comedy things would happen and he would stop pursuing his current path of comedy the only thing I can think of is that he was spoken to by the FBI because Diddy was their asset and Dave was probably exposing a lot of assets he probably got some stories that were going on and the skits that were very very true to life of what happened and it made a lot of people very uncomfortable just recently it's come up that Will Smith sounds like he possibly had relations with his children, his child, his son. He molested his son. That's what we're hearing on the on the ground. And it's like an open secret. There's a video clip of him on some TV show forcibly kissing his son on the lips on TV. Smith went crazy. Another asset. You know, once you understand that everything you see in the media is just a product of the system, every television show, every movie, and at this point now, everything on the internet too, it's all been signed, sealed, stamped, and delivered by the system. If the algorithm doesn't want you to know about it, you're not going to know about it. If it's some truth that they want to keep keep hidden, it's going to get kept hidden because the algorithm knows, man. It really does. Like every bit of content that goes up is scanned for the words in it. Every bit of content is scanned for the sounds in it, whether it's copyrighted. It's a really wild world that we're living in. It is the future. It is the the cyberpunk future that William Gibson predicted, but it's a lot shinier. It's Matrix resurrected for sure. The sky is bluer, the air is cleaner, but we're still controlled by our devices. They still tell us what to think and do. They still control society. Get this shot, get that shot. This person's okay to listen to, that one isn't. The system tries to take people out when it doesn't like what they're saying. That's what they tried to do to Russell. And they took his livelihood away under the guise of allegations that were never proven in a court of law. And that happens in groups of people as well. It happens entirely on channels like YouTube. I kind of dodged a bullet when I was in the underground music scene. I met with these two individuals and I was looking to book them for an event because they definitely had a draw. And what I didn't know is that they were going to ask me to take a steam bath with them in order to, to sign the deal. Throughout the negotiation at their at their esteemed so-called hotel, offering me fruit, bananas, strawberries. Negotiated the deal, how long they would play, all that kind of stuff. And they said, hey, to sign the deal, why don't you say, why don't we take a steam bath? I'm like, the three of us, naked? Like, yeah, I'm like, all right. So the three of us disrobe down to nothing again into the steam bath. And I didn't realize it at the until that moment that these both of these gentlemen were were looking to have some fun. One of them was ready for action. He was ready to go. The other one was like, eh, could go one way or the other. Me, I was Turtle City, man. I had nothing going on. It was embarrassing, but they knew I wasn't interested, which kind of let them know what was happening. I don't think they expected that. I think they thought I'd probably be down, but, you know, I wasn't. But, you know, they played the event, but I never really had any more professional 
interaction with them after that. In hindsight, I realized that all the people that did probably ended up woohoo! Put them in there or something. Not my speed. So when I heard about all the stuff with P. Diddy, it made sense. Yeah, man, that's that's how it goes, is all this crazy sex going on. More than one time, I could have gotten taken advantage of at a party. I never realized that in order to really succeed, you had to be sexy with everybody. Wow, it's okay. At least I still have my dignity. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, P. Diddy. Wow, that's crazy. P. Diddy, Justin Bieber, Usher. All these guys like 50 Cent, Dodged Bullets, didn't go down. DMX, didn't go down. And now it makes sense why, like, Puffy, like, rose so high. Apparently, so like Jay Z has some has some skeletons in that closet too. But when I look at my heroes like Q Tip or Chuck D or KRS One, you know, none of those guys ever had any issues like that. And then there's all this crazy Satanism that's been going on in Hollywood, like straight up Satanism. Even the new Justin Timberlake has some Satanism going on. It's sad, man. Really sad. It's it's like straight up satanic references. And I don't get it because like, that's not the way. Like, I'm not like a Jesus freak, but I'd rather do that than Satan. Yeah. Crazy times you live in. Crazy times. Like you to stay strong, and like you to know that yes, 100%, you are loved. Coming at you, speaking the truth. Like, subscribe, share. It'd be great to get to 500 subscribers. That'd be awesome. Then I could monetize, and my life would be so much better. So, yeah. Thanks, folks. Stay strong, man. It's crazy out there. It's crazy. I didn't even talk on that vaccine that they made everybody take that turned out to be a whole load of bullshit. Next time. Look up John Campbell if you want to know more about that. He's, he's an expert. All right, until we meet again, friends. Peace.